This might be my favorite paint job. The bunker. Do I look decent? Stumble out here and make a bait. You know what we're starting with. I feel violated. Occasionally the spout gets a little clogged. If you get carried away with the squeezing. I look more like an artist with it. We're gonna leave that for the video. Opaque, white, shooting everywhere. Attention. All Epic Bait Molds orders of over three or more molds is 20% off right now until when? November 28th, less than a week left. They never have sales. Buy three molds, 20% off. EpicBaitMolds.com, link in description. On to me painting this beautiful bait. That's right, I'm from the future. Bunker, Minhaden, on the East Coast, these bait fish exist. And I've been painting it for years. I love the color transitions in it and the little techniques I've developed along the way to make this thing pop and look yummy. Okay, continuing with something other than white. So these things can look different. Like that's a lot different, but that's the same fish apparently. I've always painted them more so that way though. There's a little bit of chartreuse, lots of blue. Gills, very blue, purpley gold and even yellow, it's got everything, that's why I like it. Doing something drastic to begin with, detail burnt orange turns brown when you spray a lot of it, just on the top, and fading down the sides a smidget. Toasty on the top. Silver on the bottom. These are metallic-y fish, so we're not gonna skimp with the pearls. Didn't go all the way back there with it. Stayed up at the front. It's not even focusable. This bait's gonna be flashy. It might be blurry for the rest of the video. I'm just kidding. I'll make sure that it's not. And that was the chair. I didn't fart. So realistically, that chartreuse, not on the real fish whatsoever, but I have no shame in it being there. Next goes what should have been there, just under it. I hope you're following. Deep purple. Look at me go. I'm just being a messy artist today. <laughs> I'll do my best, fellas. I'll try to keep those striations. I even used the artistic word. Trust the process. Raw Sienna. Needed to go there. I think I'll do this too. That's gonna look very natural under the scales. Looks like a tropical bird. Let's wait for that heater to turn off and I'll explain myself. All right, that was normal chartreuse. I think we're ready for a clear coat. Scales are gonna go over that. Impulse detail. Extremely bright fluorescent red dot towards that region. Probably best not to verbalize. No mercy on this clear coat. It's getting stuffed with additives. All right, I don't need that much. I'm kind of nervous. That's a lot of blue. Oh, that's good. It's diffused. It's not just blue. Purpley midnight haze. Wow. Got some airbrush stencils to try. I think I'm most excited for this one. Like little crankbaits that are curved. You could use that radius. Could probably be pulled off and just give it a trillion little details instantly. Might do that. 
And I got another one of these. Seems like you can never have enough of these. I pretty much just paint gills on all my baits with one of these. Probably not good to get in the habit of. I should, I'm not gonna use this for gills. I like that stuff. Random patchiness, super random edge everywhere. That's good stuff. That's to be put to use for sure. They gave me the cutouts and these are sweet. Even smaller, patchiness. Fastback green. New stencils are the best. Wow. That is tight. I don't want this coming off the bait at all. And it's not. Pearl white. That certainly lightened everything up. Took a lot of color out of the middle. You can still see those lines on the first coat. We were using this size mesh, stepping it down just one notch to that size. And clipped from the back like that though, so we can get the radius of the belly a little better. And I think we're only gonna come from the belly with a different size scale, not the top. The top looks pretty good. Lots of color can be seen under the scales. That fast back green, oh my, doesn't that look good? Nothing too crazy. There is just so much stuff going on. Let's continue. That was pretty much just sketching where the gills go. This is going to get another clear coat before we finish the details on the gills. These things have super faint fins. Pearl White's gonna go over that and really not be all that noticeable. I just thought you guys should witness that. There's real metal flake in that. Very shiny. Sick nasty, bro. I got another bait to clear coat too, one sec. Quite the base coat. Very metallic-y. About to get into some extensive gill detail. Extensive. Now they're ready for some color. Ooh, 
little bit of purple up there. It looks so pristine. Looks good. Look at that. Do your eyes go straight to that little imperfection right there with the white paint? I'll fix that, don't worry. I really like the way that looks though. That's a one millimeter iris. We're gonna have pearl white coming up from the bottom and then a little bit of gold from the top. Maybe the gold with a stencil too. We're gonna put a little bit of this stuff in the five minute epoxy behind the eye. It's gonna like poke a little hole in a corner here. Let's not take that off. Sprinkle hole. That's the finest holographic glitter I could get my hands on. What am I using? Wow. Ugh. I like it. It bounces light so nicely. It's the brightest thing on the bait. Looks good. Dang. I was really hoping it wasn't frozen. It's like 40 degrees right now. It's been pretty cold lately though. I'm gonna go to the river right over there. It might be best that my microphone wasn't working. Some thoughts can be constructed a little bit before blurted. The bait being that thin, I was hoping that it was thin enough. It was. Brought the flat-sided crankbait out in this piece of wood. Tight, fast, very attractive action. I wish it dove a little bit deeper because it's tight, fast action. I have a feeling can get colder weather fish to bite, but it's just too high up on the surface. It's like three feet at its deepest. So this bait will just have to shine another time with its stable, fast little thumps and its shiny sides just blasting a image of bunkers like laser beams everywhere. Holographic laser glitter, twinkle, twinkle, little bunker. Action city. Well, I put in some pretty solid effort for this time of the year, but uh, 
I'm frozen. I'm gonna go home. Who just leaves a blanket right here? It's mildly creepy. That's it, hope you enjoyed. Hope your eye caught this back here too. You know what's next. I'm gonna serve part two of that. That thing's been a time suck. You can see the paint scheme. I got multiple layers of paint going over each and every scale that needs a step with my full attention given to it. I'm giving it the time though. It's turning out nice. Anyway, that shouldn't take too much longer. See you in a bit. On to the next bait.